Welcome to KNX Tutorial 5 Programming of blinds uh, slash shutter with the slot concepts uh, The concept of slots is a uh, little confusing uh, Even it was a bit confusing for me at the beginning but later with the experience I learned how it work So let's go Okay, so we have this uh, in this slides. So we have two different blinds. So one is as, as I'm still uh, confused. What's the difference between blinds and shutter? But I think they are both same. So for the programming purpose, as a KNX programmer, I think they are same. For me, they are same. So I'm not worry about that. Uh, so on the left hand side if you see so we have this bli uh, blinds with uh, slots so this slots can rotate so you can close them and open them on the right hand side is just one blind and there is no slide so you can just move uh, move them up and down uh, only up and down and stop uh, stop start up and down so there is no slots at all uh, so to explain this I'm gonna use uh, ABB blind slash roller shutter actuator and I'm gonna use gear up push button switch okay let's go to programming So in the bedroom let's suppose uh, let's add let's suppose we have two uh, lines uh, in the bedroom one is with this uh, shutter uh, with the slots and the other is without slots so let's do let's add this uh, blind actuator this is the blind actuator I'm gonna use this one uh, this is bear in mind this actuator is for the blinds uh, which run on 230 volt so there might there is if you look into another one there is 24 volt blind actuator as well so we need to make sure you use this uh, right uh, blind actuator for the right motor so there is two types of uh, blind motor either 24 or 230 and switch is let's have a look which one so that is five one double three five one double three and in the bedroom so I'll add this in the bedroom. Okay. Let's go to the parameters of the uh, blind actuator. So I just, I'm going to just use uh, only channel A and channel B. Uh, the channel A would be blinds without slot and channel B would be blinds with slots. So if you come here, channel A, so you can see here control with slots adjustment. Uh, you'll click here um, I need this one without slot adjustment and then blind sh slash shutter uh, there is nothing in there because there is no slots so in the driver this is very important uh, if you see here up time is 60 second and down time is 60 second 
Now, why, why this is important? Uh, you will be actually need to measure the time of the blind, how long it take to open and how long it take to shut. Let's suppose uh, if it's a small blind, not very big, uh, ideally it will be below 60 second, which will be probably 30 second or 26 second or something like that, which wouldn't cause any problem at all. But if the blind is very big, like in one of our uh, job, there was a blind which was about, which was taken about 95 seconds to open and close. So what's happened is when you press a uh, long oppression, it's open up to uh, something about 70% and then it stop. So which is not, which is not good. So you have to be, so if in that case you need to set the time right, whatever the time is. Uh, for the visualization purposes, uh, it is very important to use the time right, especially when you enable, like if you go to the function and enable position, if you enable this object, and if you are using this object in any purpose, then you you have to set the time. This is the time on here, the driver, you have to set this time on the driver. Uh, how long it take to open and close uh, there's no now channel B uh, I want the uh, slot concept like I want to use the slot so I should be able to rotate the slots time exactly the same you have to set the time how long it take to open and how long it take to shut uh, but in here if you look in here the duration of the slot adjustment uh, 200 millisecond or so as depend uh, you probably need to measure this uh, on the blinds which you are using and the slots how long it to open and close the slots itself uh, you don't need a separate motor it's it is in the same motor uh, the same concept but the only difference is when you press the short uh, object uh, short press like we do the short press uh, in in the blend without slot it just stops straight away uh, but in the blinds with slot it run for uh, let's suppose we have 200 millisecond divided by 7 so which is probably 30 something like 30 millisecond so when you press one shot press it will run for 30 millisecond the the motor will run for 30 millisecond and then you again press a short press and then it will again run for 30 millisecond and again like that until it reached to 200 millisecond so that what it says is 0% open and 100% close and the total number is uh, total slots position is 7 slots so there will be 7 step to completely open the slot and completely close the slots so it's only this this section is only covering up the slot time not the actual not the total time of the plan you can change this uh, to whatever it is on the on the on the required line now total turning of slot after move down so move down or when it move to uh, you know this one is position of the slot after arriving at lower end position lower end position when when it 
when it reach to a lower end position what position do you want up the slide so 100 percent that's fine i don't need to change anything else on here uh function i'm i'm not using any scene uh i'm not using this the i'm not i don't need the position of the plan like where it is at the moment because i'm not doing any visualization so if you look into the channel a this is you see stop up and down that's all it's gonna stop up and down but channel b you have slot adjust slash stop up and down so you can adjust a slot and you can stop start the plan from here as well okay let's create the group addresses and link them how are we gonna do it this is long operation or move up slash down and here is uh, so with slot and slots adjust slash stop stop move slash down so on the on the second object you can adjust the slots or So you can slot adjust or slash stop up and down. So you can uh, stop up and down or uh, stop. Uh, you can adjust the slots. 
plan with slots slots adjust uh, stop move up and down so it's just up to you how you want to describe it I'll just name it like this so um, plan with slots move up and down long operation long operation short operation is depend how the client want it ideally the long operation we use it for up like completely open and completely close the blinds and the short operation we do it for stop uh, the long operation one of our client he requested me to do it wrong uh, other way around short operation for move up and down and the long operation for the stop in the blinds but it's depend on the client requirement uh, how he want it ideally okay so let's link the group addresses so this is the one the first one without slots uh, the second object shot operation will stop the slots uh, and let's and then the channel B is with the slots and I'll just the slots so so what you will do on the shot operation when you send one uh, it will open the slot uh, about one seventh of the slot position and then you press another uh, shot, uh, another send another one and then it will open further step and then another step and then another step so you can adjust the slots uh, by the shot operation or F you press the long operation and the, the blinds is closing or opening and then you press the short operation it will stop it there so let's link them with the push button now so the same thing is the same concept here rocker one is uh, ventilation blind you can change it here up down right you can change it like left right if you want it left right uh, you can change it around and here again exactly the same ventilation blind and let's see if I'm able to disable this one okay there is no disable option but just leave that one so rocker one short operation is short operation uh, long operation is for the long operation so the first rocker will control the blinds without slots and the second rocker will control blind with slots so It will be always like it's the same motor everything is the same but we just in the first in the first day in the first case the blind without slot we just straight away stopping the motor while in the while with the slots with the short operation we leave the motor to run for about 30 millisecond or 20 millisecond something like that so you which give you an option to control to adjust the slots that's all uh, there is nothing really difficult uh, but if you still have any issues don't understand it just let me know thanks for watching and as usual if you have any uh, questions just let me know I'll try to answer that